Belfast is a city of stories. Particularly at the end of the 1960s, it went through an incredible, tumultuous phase. It's a very, very personal remembrance of that time. You wouldn't want to be the old man out in the street. That's my family and I'll kill you. The story is told through the eyes of a nine, ten-year-old boy. Your buddy from Belfast, where everybody knows you. This is a nine, ten-year-old boy who already was watching a lot of television. I actually did feel I was writing a Western, and one that was sort of constructed in the mind of the ten-year-old buddy. Was that our side that done all that? There is no our side and their side in our street. There was always a story about the point in anybody's life where there is a sort of crossover into the world of adulthood. Be good, son. If you can't be good, be, be careful. careful. I play pa and he's forced into this very difficult position of trying to make big life decisions that benefit the family. This is the time to make a new start. When there's the opportunity to escape all the troubles that are happening, he, he takes that opportunity and, and uh, tries to help his family. Are we going to have to leave Belfast? Ken came and read the script to me, and he started at the beginning, and he read the entire script. It is sensationally written. The script, which was so delicate and soft and warm and funny and with the backdrop of trouble starting in 1969 and the violence and the burning out of homes and people on the run and, and yet inside this the warmth of people and family and that's really at the heart of this story. We went across the water, they wouldn't understand the way we talk. If they can't understand you then they're not listening. In stories like this, maybe we understand that we are not alone when, we're, when we look at these reflections of other lives.